Hi, this is Lou at Foothills Properties, and I'm in Desert Anchor, which is a townhome subdivision uh, near the Wrightstown overpass on Tanker Verde, and I'm looking north towards the Catalina Foothills. Uh, we're turning to the, I guess, the south and uh, walking up to the property. And I'm turning to face the property, and you can see it. It is a vacation rental, which means it is furnished. And we're now in the property. You can see it's gated courtyard. It's gated. Uh, we do have a garage here. It's sort of a carport slash garage. In other words, it's covered and it's closed on three sides. The um, side to the yard is left open, gives a more open feeling, but we're all behind the gate here. So we'll walk up to the property. In fact, I'm going to walk to the backyard first, and then we'll go inside. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now we're in the backyard area. You can see that we have a barbecue grill. We have a lounger and a table with four chairs, a nice sitting area, and a large covered patio. And I guess in keeping with the desert anchor theme, we have a nautical type light on a pulley held by a rope. Okay, we have a screen door and I'll open it and we'll go in. You can see in the the sign that says, welcome, my house is your house. Mi casa is su casa. We're now in the entry. We're inside. We have a living room, dining area, kitchen. I've got the doors open there back to the laundry. Uh, so there's a washer and dryer in the unit. We still have a couple things yet to do, so it's not quite ready, but we have some folks moving in tomorrow and we wanted to get a picture of it so that we could show it to you uh, uh, as it stands. Uh, that is the second bedroom, and then here's the master suite. Uh, this beautiful case has um, games and some books in it. I noticed a Monopoly set and several other things. To my left is the water tank, the, water the uh, hot water tank, we're now in the master. This is a king bed. We do have a TV here. Now we have the master bath. I'll walk in, I'll move the door out of the way. So it does have a stand up shower and it's a zero low entry shower. There's nothing to step over going in. It's a slight step down and a slight step up. Again, we're looking at the master from the other side. Now we're looking again at the great room from this angle. I forgot to turn those lights on, darn it. I'm going to turn them on. You can watch me turn them on, so to, sp so to speak. A look at the kitchen. That's a gas stove. Double sink. Microwave on the counter. Two door refrigerator. Again, the laundry is right there. This is a bedroom. It does, however, have a sleep sofa in it. And that picture is crooked. The technician will be here to hang it in a little bit to straighten it, I hope, in a little bit. Um, it is a sleep sofa, so it is a bedroom because there is a closet here, and the door, I pushed it closed by accident, is there, and then we have a linen closet here. There's also some linens in the, in the full closet. Uh, you saw that box, that box will go out. We're gonna tape that up today and take it outside. Put it in the garage where it's out of the way.
but I couldn't move it because the bottom is open. So here we have our house in uh, Desert Anchor uh, near the Wrightstown overpass at Tanka Verde. It's a very lovely place to spend the winter and we hope you enjoyed the tour and that if you're interested you'll contact us to take a look. Uh, have a great, great, great Tucson day and a great day wherever you are and thank you again. Bye-bye.